his father, instrumental in the Montville program for many, many years. And he was one of the coaches that helped build up the Tatiera Zari that we see today. And in, you know, in those comments, you mentioned another wrestler when we talked about four-time champions. You, mess, mess, you know, mentioned one of the great names in ECC and state championship wrestling, TJ Macro. So. I guess TJ Macro was a four-time ECC because he was a four-time Open champ. That so. is correct. Yeah. Well, when you win four Opens, people forget about the ECC yeah, titles that's... that you won. But you're, I will... the, you're the only one that had problems with the ECC. Is that, you know, Apparently. Uh, yeah, I lost to TJ Heppard and Macro. That's why. That's the only reason I lost. I think that's fair. Yeah, even though one of them was on my team. Actually, <laughs> both Ledger wrestlers. Jesse Costley. Quick early 2-0 lead for Costley. He's got the green for the officials call, and Gennady is in the red for the call, and, of course, in the white Waterford Lancer singlet right there. I think I said it the year before. Waterford. Get the red back in your singlets. Red, white, and blue. God bless America. I couldn't agree with you more, though. I, I do like the red in the singlet. Waterford, all their uniforms look better when they've got that little streak of red in it. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ledgered, do not throw that gold in there. You want this just blue? No, we, we're, Ledgered Wrestling is blue and white. Okay. And the gold, little uh, lore here, the gold was added because Coach Mignall is a Green Bay Packers fan. I always thought it was because Coach Don't quote me on that. I just thought he wanted to be more like New London. <laughs> I wanted to throw the gold in. It wouldn't, no one could blame him. His rivalry with Coach Bunicor was, you know, those two were, so were such good friends as well. Got to love a nice competitive match. We've had, haven't had that sort of epic back and forth yet so far. We're waiting for that, uh, that match, and I don't know. We might have to wait till the last match. We'll see. We'll see who really uh, gives us the best head-to-head -head match. The re that real barn burner, that excitement. Like you and I, we kind of touched on it before. If you're the guy that's ran through the whole tournament, you pinned everybody, and then in the finals you pinned somebody, that's great. But everybody was expecting it. Right. If you're the guy who wasn't supposed to win the match, and it's 2-1, to one, and in the last seconds you get a reversal, you get a takedown to win the match, the whole place is going to go nuts. That is what we're really looking for. That's what really gets us excited. Gennady with a great semifinal win over Luke Chapman of Montville. Chapman, oh, of course, a great young wrestler. Chapman and his boys old, yeah, are phenomenal right. wrestlers. And his brother, of course, a champion as well. So like, that's a big victory there over Chapman, Luke. Chapman, again, from Montville, through that exact same Montville program that Gennady, Irizarry, and Chapman, and uh, remember the Morse boys, that, those, all their dads were all coaches in Montville uh, youth. They helped build up the program. And that's why you're seeing those kids successful today. Costly. So the, the the pun, of course, is going to be when we talk about it being if he makes it, a mistake, it being a costly, be costly move. There yeah, that's the mean. I'm throwing it out there now. You hey, can use that at hey, your will. That's that's pretty good. Now it's on me to come up with one for Janati. That's right. <laughs> that's right. In fairness, you know, I take an easy road that time. Uh, you weren't on the nice list because Janati this year. <laughs> that's the best I got. Oh, all right, not bad though. Not, not so bad. No, that was actually pretty bad. <laughs> no, it really was. Bad as it got. No, it was. So that's why it was not bad because it went all the way around and back <laughs> again. As we're under 40 seconds remaining here in the second period, 3-2, Janati on top of Costly. In what I there's that risk control. You can sense that this is going to be a low. This is going to be a low scoring affair, regardless of the outcome. I say that because all of their scores leading up to the finals indicated that they're both. Janati, Janati, oh, but Costly with the wizard. Oh, that was beautiful. They're proving you wrong right now. He says, oh, he heard you. I think he said, how about them points? Costly looking for a pin here, and he gets Jesse it. Jesse Costly, ECC champ. Congratulations, 145-pound winner, Jesse Costly, the senior from Griswold and Wheeler Co-op with a big pin in the second period over Lucas Gennady of Waterford. The sophomore, though. It is. We're going to see Mr. Gennady in the next two years, for sure. He will be back. But Costly, the senior, going out with an ECC championship. 
And what I loved about that was, like you said, there was a brief opening, and he seized it and made the most of the opportunity. And there's nothing better than a pin to win an ECC championship. George, what a nice effort from Jesse Costler. Jesse, congratulations on the ECC championship. How does it feel? Feels great, man. Thank God, thank my grandma, thank my dad. They've always been in my corner, and most importantly, thank my coach. He's the best, he's always with me. I mean, it was a very close match, very low scoring, but you saw an opportunity to get that pin. Was that the game plan? It's always the game plan. It's always go out there and go get a pin. But if you can't, just go out there and win, man. Awesome, Jesse, congratulations.